Hi guys, this is Mike from Sentry Security Systems, and today we're going to look at some of the password and user account settings on the GeoVision. So this is just intended as a basic introduction to the password and user account setup. To get into this, you're going to start with the hammer and screwdriver button, the system configure. Once you click on that, you're going to go system configure, password setup, and local account edit. So this is the password setup screen. By default, the guest account is disabled. The guest account is going to give you access to view cameras only. So if you want to enable that, you just uncheck the guest account. You can specify uh, passwords for guest accounts um, as well. The next level of account is the user account. So this is what's intended for the end user. It gives them basic control. They can start services, but they can't stop them. Uh, it gives them PTZ control. This is, of course, fully customizable when you create a new user account. So to do that, you right click and go add new account. So we'll call this account end user. And I'm going to leave the password blank and press OK. So now that we've done that, all of these options are now available for us to select. So if we do want them to be able to stop services, we can check that as fully customizable. If we don't want them to be able to, for example, control the PTZ camera, we would simply uncheck that. If we didn't want them to have access to a camera, we can uncheck it here so that we could say they don't have access. Uh, in this case, I've only got one camera, but if they had all, six, say, 16, you could say they don't have access to cameras 7, 10, and 12 for whatever reason. Okay, so we can go through all of these op options are pretty self-explanatory. Um, system settings, editing passwords, full screen use. Okay, now this is all for within the multi-cam software. We've got view log. Okay, so we can say, okay, they can't view recorded video from cameras um, 7, 8, and 9, but we want them to be able to view it for all of the other ones, so we would check them all but 7, 8, and 9. We can also make it so they can't delete event logs. Okay, we can say, you know, we don't want them to be able to export AVI files. Okay, only a super user, or sorry, a power user or a supervisor would be able to have that function. Okay, next tab over is the webcam settings. Okay, so same sort of idea just going to configure it for a webcam. We've also got remote playback. Okay, so we can make it okay. You know, maybe we want the end user to be able to stop the remote playback server for whatever reason, so we would check that. Fast backup and restore. Okay, a user level is not able to execute the fast backup and restore by default. We can give them that access if we want to then have options for the control center. If, you're, if you have one in your situation, then you'd be able to say whether or not they can start and stop that services and, and configure it. Uh, same thing for privacy mask. Under other, um, the option that they can execute the repair log if there's a problem with the database, disable alarms, swap hard drives, and execute report generator. Next level is power user. So all of the options stay the exact same. The only difference is just by default, there are certain options checked. So it's basically giving you categories. You could create somebody with a user level, give them access to everything, and it would be the same thing as a supervisor account. So power user and supervisor. Okay. The other important thing to, to note on this screen, down here at the bottom, we have allow removing password system. If you do not have that checked, and you don't remember the password for the supervisor account, you're completely locked out. You'll have to use your Sentry recovery disks and do a full system restore um, in order to get access back to your system. 